This is the Roy Portable Typewriter. It's got a French keyboard here. The cool thing here is if you press down this shift key or any key for that, when you first unfold it, it will push down this flap. And that allows the keys to move all the way. This here, another cool thing. When you have the carriage return lever, it actually stops the carriage from moving. It acts as a centering piece. So you push this up and let go, and it will unfold. And you have access to the platen knob, which is tiny. You push this across. It's got a double um, ribbon lift, which is so interesting. It's got both the ribbon spools, the tiny 7 16th inch ribbons. Pretty hard to find. It's got the ribbon reverse. Side as well. So the ribbon lift mechanism works like that. There's a linkage and then there's another one which goes, you won't be able to say this, goes all the way underneath. It's got a shift. Kind of like the Hermes rocket ones where it tilts. You've got the character base. A bale roller here. Oh, no, it's a paper bale. A raising shield. Um, you can release a ratchet using this. Then you have a choice between line spacing. So it goes one line, two line. There's no interline spacing on this. There's the paper release. It doesn't really work that well. It's not a click out. You just more have to press out on it. Then you have the margin settings. So just the standard push and slide. No bell on this machine. It's got a nice space bar. Caps lock. Backspace. Pretty heavy backspace actually. Margin release. Uh, where else? All the keys work really well. This required a full tear down. Required a full tear down because there was issues. The last owner had sprayed this WD-40 and it got into the segment, and so I had to clean both like segments, so including that one underneath it. And that took me quite a while, but you know, well worth it. It's a very nice machine. It was in pretty rough shape when I got it, especially trying to ship it from. France to Australia, pretty far, but now it's in wonderful condition. I won't be using it for typing because, you know, the Roy's aren't very good for that. But other than that, they're very nice machines and I'm happy that I have it because it's, it's probably one of the only rare ones that I actually own. And it's so small. I'll try to find something I can use for scale. Here's a bottle of alcohol that I was cleaning. That doesn't give it much scale, actually. Um, ink ribbon box. Ink ribbon box, a stampy one like that. Very small. It's a very flat one. So when you want to put it away, you fold this in, push down, slide that over, push the carriage across. And then you, what you do is you lift it like this. And you can see how flat this thing actually is. So it's got that flap there. Like that. Give me a second. So I slide this down. And that's how flat it folds to when it's put away. Again, ink ribbon. And you got the bottle. Super cool machine.